Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is outfit number three of the spring 10x10 challenge. I'm wearing a sweater from the brand United Colors of Benetton, my black denim skinnies from BDG, and again, my black Supergas. I thrifted this sweater months ago, actually in the men's section, and it's slightly oversized, but I like it like that. And I was with Brandon when I picked it out, and I remember he initially didn't like it, and he called it uh, the barf sweater because if you look closely there's little flecks of yellowish green but that was one of my favorite parts of the sweater and it's quickly become one of my favorite tops these jeans I've had for probably eight to nine years I've had them for a really long time and compared to some of the other jeans that I own they were way more affordable I want to say maybe around the 50 to 60 dollar price range and I got them at Urban Outfitters yes Urban Outfitters a really long time ago and when I originally bought them they didn't have the distressing on the knees but I think uh, a year or two ago I don't know what came over me but I just wanted to like rip up the knees and so I did it myself <laughs> and I haven't like done any DIYs to my clothes in a really long time so when they first came out I didn't like them because the rip in my left knee is way better like it's wider and it just looked uneven but after washing and wearing them multiple times and just watching them fray naturally i've come to really adore that the rips and the knees are totally not identical to each other i'm also really impressed with the quality and how long these jeans have lasted throughout the years because i don't wear them very carefully in fact i feel like these are the jeans i reach for when i'm going to go play with my friend's kids or something i love this pair and i would be really sad if anything happened to them because I feel like throughout the years they've like really molded to my body so they fit me exactly the way I want them to even more so when I first got them so on this day all I had were some classes I was teaching and weather wise it was a bit chilly but it definitely warmed up a lot throughout the day so I was okay to be wearing just this without my cardigan whenever I wear the sweater I have a layer underneath which is usually my Uniqlo heat tech and I think it's really important to do that otherwise my skin can get pretty itchy under this wool sweater and also because of the layer underneath I think that's why I was able to get away with not having a jacket so one thing I really wanted to mention in this video are my no-show socks I've gotten a few questions about them in one of my previous outfit videos and I thought I'd talk about them here because I have tried so many pairs of no-show socks like department store brands that were on the more expensive end in terms of socks and I've also tried um, cheaper ones you can buy you know in in bulk in at Costco but the best pair of no-show socks that I've ever owned are the ones that I have been wearing um, in the last three outfits and I went to pick up some more so I can show you guys the packaging so it says style cover I don't think that's the brand I think that's just maybe the name of the sock and in the upper left corner right here it says Valentino Rudy so I don't know if that's very helpful um, but these are made in Korea. I have an issue with ingrown toenails and so many of the no-show socks I've tried in the past I would get you know the pair for women and they're usually the band they're so tight that they dig into my toenails and after a few hours of wearing them my toes would really hurt so I got these at this one sock shop that I always go to in Itaewon. Um, I think the name of the store is DH Socks or something. But if you guys are in Korea, it's the one right by the McDonald's in Itaewon. And there's only one McDonald's in Itaewon. So I went into the store and I was talking to one of the owners. And uh, I was explaining the whole situation with how, you know, these kind of socks usually hurt me. And if he had recommendations for no-show socks that one wouldn't slip off and one wouldn't like suffocate my feet. And he recommended these to me. They're actually made for men. And he said they don't have these for women and I don't know if this is helpful but it says the size is 25 to 27 centimeters so and they only have it in one size these are really comfortable they never slip off whether I'm wearing shoes with them or if I'm just walking around in them it says here there's anti-slip silicone patch that's attached to heel to prevent slippage biodegradable silicone 
uh, protects your heel and creates invisible comfort when wearing flats or pumps. The use of cotton wicks away sweat and is hygienic. These wash really well too. Um, I felt that even after multiple washes, um, they haven't worn away. And my other issue with other brands of no-show socks are that they hole up pretty easily. But um, I have probably in total nine pairs of these now. I couldn't recommend them enough. I don't know if it's available anywhere else. Maybe you guys can do a Google search, but I personally just get it at that one shop that I always go to. And these are made of 88% cotton and 12% spandex. So because I was teaching today, I was carrying my backpack. I always take this. This is my dedicated work bag. And I know I've noticed this before, but I think maybe I was just more aware of it during this challenge. But I really liked how the color of my backpack and my sweater complemented each other because I love earth tones. I love muted colors. And every time I'd catch a glimpse of my sweater and this backpack, like I would um, really appreciate how they look together. And so I thought I'd point them out. I think it's easy to just get used to your clothes but because I'm doing this challenge I feel like I am paying more attention is I guess what I want to say so even though nothing is new there's definitely a newfound appreciation for my belongings and how they go with each other so that wraps up outfit number three if you guys are participating in this challenge or you're even thinking about it I'd love to hear about your progress down below thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's outfit bye